Okay, so I got cut off on my last video. Uh, what for? I don't know, but here it is. You know, I was telling you, it's not cool that I've had these visions, and I really hope I'm either wrong about the visions, or, because these, these visions were more or less dreams, and... You know, I I get visions of things, and I hear God himself talking to me at times. I don't really get dreams, but this is the third dream in a row, like, like I've had. I had some time to calm down since I fixed things in my memory on my phone so I can get uh, these things uploaded. Man, Marcus, I am serious. I really hope that God you're not like how I should, was shown. But I do mean it. Things get out of line. I mean, it's serious. If you go and you you want to say that you're the only man out here walking the tightrope, I'm going to ask God to wake you up. Because if I can't get a hold of you, if you can't watch my videos like I watched yours, Give me some commentation. Give me some little recognition. Man, I love you with the love of Christ. Like how we're supposed to. Man, I gave you prop ups time and time again. And I, I've tried to encourage you on your uh, your YouTube videos. Man, God bless you, man. There, there is no hate or animosity from me to you. But, man, I'm serious. Three different dreams, you were the same way. Even Archangel Gabriel came to me, man. And and had some words with me about what is potentially going to go on. And I don't like it. You know, going back to uh, the military just a little bit. You said you were a sergeant in the United States Army. I mean, I was an E4. I was promotable, but I had so much tragic, stupid uh, reversal on me. It, it was nonsense how much treachery I put up with in the military. It was nonsense. I had people trying to kill me that were in my own uniform. The United States flag rank and all that, and people were still trying to kill me because I was exposing... What was wrong with the system and how damnable that these people were that are trying to refuse getting not right by Christ, but right by right by the system, right by the code of ethics and the code of conduct, which is in the military. And these people are trying to just do whatever they want. That also correlates with the body of Christ and this army of Christ that we're trying to build this kingdom. You are a sergeant, you should know a sergeant's the backbone of the United States Army. Pastors are the backbone. They they're pretty much the same thing. They're a sergeant. They're a backbone of the ministry. Prophets are are the head of the top. Prophets are above the apostles. I don't know if you recognize that. I mean, the the ministry goes in the five uh, for the five pastor apostle bishop deacon uh that's not in the correct order but anyways I hope you know what I'm getting at anybody else watches this I hope you know what I'm getting at you got five different so called ranks with this paperwork, this nonsense, it's total nonsense to me. I've been robbed of it. I've been cheated out of it. I've been cheated out of the church system. I've been cheated from the church. I've been lied to by the church. I've been robbed to by, by the church. And the Christians who did it are supposed high up and are famous and well-known. And they're not going to be told they're, they've done me wrong. 
they're going to say, no, they didn't do it. They're going to lie to your face. But we'll tell you why, like you say, and the Bible says, everything's going to be revealed at the end. And people are not going to like what's going to happen. Because they're, they're going to be shown. It's going to be shown that I was robbed. It's going to be shown. But the thing is not about me, man. It's about you and what I'm telling you. You showed a real nasty sign of weakness in a time that you need to be strong. I, I told everybody else, you know, it's like Michael, God, God sent Archangel Michael to me to tell me it doesn't matter who wins this election. There is a firestorm. I'm going to put it nicely. I'm not cussing. But that's what he said. He just said a storm's coming either way. It doesn't matter who, who gets in the office. It doesn't matter who takes the noble seat. There's a storm coming. And blood will be shed. I don't get those prophecies, man. I don't... I mean, I do... Like, I don't like sharing them. That's what I mean. I don't like sharing them. I get them all the time. I speak things on nations. I speak things on people. I speak whatever. And things happen. You know, just like the story of Christ and the, the Roman Cantorian. The Roman Cantorian said to Christ, Hey, you don't need to come to my house. I'm a Cantorian. I speak and my soldiers go. I say come and my soldiers come. You speak and your word and it shall happen as if I had spoke to my soldiers. I speak like that. Things happen. I'm not calling myself Christ. I am not Christ. I refuse to be called Christ or even think about calling myself Christ. I refuse to be somebody who I'm not. I refuse to be called somebody who I'm not. And I refuse to walk a path of Christ because I am not going to finish that. The Bible says that we are all falling short. So guess what? I am not going to try to do something that I am already set up to fail. That's a waste of my time. I'm just going to live my life how I'm going to live it. You live your life how you're going to live it, but I'm going to give you a, a small little um, patch if you're going to take it. Please don't go gloating and showboating like that you're the only one. I warn you, please just don't do it. How do you take yourself from a sergeant in the United States Army, then you start crying because you, you, you have a loss? That's a personal question, but it's also rhetorical for you, okay? I don't know what um, MOS you had. But if you ever lost somebody on the field, or if you ever lost one of your best friends there, being a competent leader, you must get over losses. Trump being in office is not a loss. It's not lost. And you gave up before while well, the pressure was on. You broke. You snapped. You cracked. Maybe this is your first time big prophecy. I don't know. Maybe it is. I think so. But, um, man, I'm out here. I'm trying to get a hold of you. I'm trying to contact you. I'm trying to work with you. I'm not trying to start no animosity. I'm not trying to start no hate. I'm not trying to give you no bull crap that's going to, you know, make a division in the body of Christ. I, I'm saying, man, you need to fix yourself because you're the one making it. Doing the, uh, when people are looking up to you and you're, you're folding. Christ didn't fold when he was under the pressure. Peter folded, Thomas folded, better part of the apostles folded. Even, you know, everybody knows that uh, Judas folded the worst. He gave Jesus up the 30 shackles of silver. <laughs> 30 shackles of silver, man. 30 freaking shekels of silver. Let me show you something. Let me show you something right quick. You know... This is pretty lame. 
30 shekels of silver. You see this? Little silvers. 30 of these things. 30 troy ounces of silver. Oh, I've got about 100 here. 100 pounds of. Not 100 pounds. Whatever. Man. A load of crap. Man, you need to pick yourself up by the bootstraps. Put on your big Texas belt. I know that Trump's going to win. I know the prophecy is going to come through. And I know that there's going to be a nasty little civil war here in the United States. I know there is. It's not no fantasy talk. If Michael said there's going to be blood and there's going to be um, Archangel Michael, as you know, uh, he's family to me. Like I said, I, I'm Nephilim. I don't care who, who says what. I know I have it in my blood. I was told that. I know that. I know who I am. I know how I stand. I know who I am. Anyways, the thing is, if there's going to be blood and there's going to be a fight, prepare yourself, man. Prepare your people, man. Stand strong no matter what. A prophet's first prophecy to the mass of the people is always the one that shakes the him the worst, him or her the worst. I get it. You know, I get it. You're always wondering if it's going to come through if you heard right. You did. You stand firm in what you said. It doesn't matter if you've seen a vision. It doesn't matter if you had a dream. It doesn't matter if God said hey listen okay it doesn't matter if you know what you heard stand with it don't let nobody shake you nobody if you're a man of god on this earth and you stand as you are strong if you stand with the strength of samson use the wisdom of solomon and the faith of elijah Not no mountain, not no wind, not no earthquake will move you, shake you, or bend you. Man, I, I hope and pray that you, you learn from these. I hope you get to see these. I really do. And I, I do. And I don't mean to make you mad, but because I'm not trying to put the sun down, making my brother mad. God bless you, man.